Hey everyone, I just want to make a quick race preview video of some sort before I take off for Houston. I'm actually recording this on Wednesday and going to try the whole schedule to upload thing, so hopefully you see this eventually. So my half marathon will be this Sunday, January 14th, starting at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time in Houston. As of right now on Wednesday, the weather for Sunday morning looks pretty chilly, somewhere around 35 degrees Fahrenheit for the start of the race. They're calling for wind speeds of about 7 miles per hour, so pretty fast racing conditions really. The elite field for this race is absolutely ridiculous. There are six people entered that have personal best under an hour for the half marathon, and there's probably about 40 with personal best under 65 minutes. In addition to the men, there are also seven females that are right around or significantly under 68 minutes. So I'm definitely gonna be getting destroyed by a lot of people in this race. If you're interested in tracking the race live, there is a mobile app. Just search for Chevron Houston Marathon, and that will be the one you want. This app has all kinds of useful information about the race, so you can look through that and it has a live tracking as well that I was just talking about. So if you'd like to track me, you can just search for my name, which you know, or you can search for my bib number. My bib number is 20487. So a lot of you throughout this series have been asking me what my goal time is for the half marathon. And I have a kind of an idea of what I wanna run, but I don't let my goal pace dictate the paces that I train at. My highest, but still a little bit realistic goal is running under an hour and eight minutes which is 5.11 per mile. I'm pretty confident I can get under 70 minutes and under 69 minutes would be even better obviously, but I really, really wanna run under 68 minutes. That being said, I'm not gonna let that 5.11 pace dictate how I go out in the race. Since this is going to be my first half marathon race ever and the first real buildup that I've ever done to one, it's hard for me to kind of get an idea of what my training indicates that I can race at. That 5.11 pace can sound a little bit daunting when I think about all the race specific workouts that I've done, but I also have to remember that all of those workouts were on my own and many of them were on hilly terrain in less than ideal conditions for weather. So I'm hoping that I can surprise myself a little bit when I get out there on the course with a bunch of other people racing. I'm hoping that I can keep everything in check through at least the first half of the race and then maybe some point in the second half of the race pick a point that I can start pushing and be confident that I can carry that push to the finish. Either way, hopefully I can appropriately measure out my effort throughout the race and get myself a finishing time that lines up pretty well with my fitness right now. So after the race on Sunday, I plan to wrap up this series with two more videos. One of them will be a race recap video. The other video will be a pretty in-depth analysis of all the training that led up to this race. I don't plan to record anything on Sunday morning of the race because my focus is 100% on running the best that I can. I'll take the camera with me for the trip in case I feel like recording anything on Friday or Saturday, but chances are I'm not going to. Again, my focus is just going to be on making sure I can race the best I possibly can. After the race on Sunday, I'll pretty much be coming straight back to Pittsburgh where our spring semester and our track season is gonna be in full swing. So that means I'm going to be really, really busy. I'll try to get those two videos done as soon as I can, but I can pretty much guarantee that my rate of uploading videos is going to go down a little bit because my priority is with my coaching and my classes. Some of you have also been asking if I plan to keep uploading after Houston, and of course I do. It's just a matter of finding a new goal to work towards and make a series out of. I also have several other non-workout videos in mind that I'd like to get done. So to conclude this video, I just want to say thanks for all the support throughout this series. It's certainly been a big piece of my motivation to do the best that I can. I'm not claiming that I know the best way to do everything, but hopefully I've been able to teach you at least something throughout this series. Whether it's a good or a bad thing, hopefully there are things that you can pick out that you can say, hey, I'm going to try that in my training, or hey, that guy's an idiot, I'm not going to do that because that's really a big part of forming your own training philosophies. Just picking bits and pieces from different people or different coaches and making your own training philosophy. So I think that pretty much covers everything that I want to say. Hopefully this Sunday when the race starts getting tough, I can think of the support from you all and hopefully that will carry me to the finish. I'm definitely planning on having a positive result to report, so I will see you sometime after the race.